what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? An Indiana woman didn't want her canceled $30,000 wedding to go to waste, so she did something that was rather unique, rather compassionate, selfless, beautiful. She threw a dinner party for the homeless. A bus pulled up at the Swanky Event Center on Saturday that Sarah Cummins had booked for the reception in Carmel, a suburb north of Indianapolis. About a dozen veterans from a local organization were among the guests who dined on bourbon glass meatballs, roasted garlic bruschetta, and wedding cake. Cummings told the Indianapolis Star that she and her fiance called off the wedding a week ago. She declined to give a reason, but she said they were left with a non-refundable contract for the Ritz Charles in Carmel and a plated dinner for 170 guests. For me, it was an opportunity to let these people know they deserve to be at a place like this just as much as anyone else does, Cummins said. Cummins said she decided that rather than throw away the food, she would bring some purpose to the event and contacted area homeless shelters. She cheerfully greeted and welcomed her guests when they arrived on Saturday. Several local businesses and residents donated suits, dresses, and other items for the guests to wear. Charlie Allen, who spent three months at a homeless mission, received a donated jacket. I didn't have a sports coat, he said, tugging gently at the lapels. I think I look pretty nice in it. Like other guests, Allen said he was grateful for the invitation. For a lot of us, this is a good time to show us what we can have, he said, or to remind us what we had. Three of Cummins' seven bridesmaids, along with her mother and aunts, came to support her at the event. Three of Cummins' seven bridesmaids, along with her mother and aunts, came to support her at the event. Guests also dined on chicken breast with artichokes and Chardonnay cream sauce and wedding cake. Cummins, a 25-year-old Purdue University pharmacy student, said her ex-fiance, Logan Arujo, footed most of the bill for the wedding contract, with Cummins and her parents, along with one of Arujo's family friends, paying the rest. Cummins said that when she approached Arujo about donating the dinner, he agreed to what he believed was a selfless way to handle the situation. Okay, let's discuss the elephant in the room. Let's get right to it. $30,000 for a wedding. I already know some of y'all are tripping. Here's the deal. Some of y'all are saying, that's too much for a wedding. $30,000. Oh, man, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. They could have used that money for a down payment on a house. They could have bought a brand new car with that. I get it. But think about this. Whatever that number is that you think is too high and whatever that number is for a wedding that you think is just right, maybe your number is $10,000 for the wedding. Maybe it's 5000 Well, to a person that plans on spending 1500 your number might be absurd. In fact, to a person that may consider going to the courthouse, your number is really ridiculous. So you can't really try to pocket watch somebody else's money when we start talking about weddings and or what somebody's going to spend for something that they want. You know, people spend money on what they value. And people are going to do what they want to do, especially when it comes to weddings. People go all out for these weddings. I don't know what it is. I mean, I guess I know what it is. It's the whole fairy tale of it. You know, the whole dreaming thing. Yeah, I get it. People want those things to be as perfect as possible. But I can't be mad at them. Now, I do understand what y'all are saying when somebody put themselves out there. But if they want to put themselves out then that's on them. 
And it sounds like they were putting themselves out too because the bride said the fiance paid some of the money, paid most of the money. Her family paid some of the money. And then the fiance's family friend paid some of the money. So it just sounds like maybe they didn't have the money. But then again, that could have been a situation where everybody wanted to kind of chip in and they did have the money. Who knows? I just think what she did was a beautiful thing. You know, some people, the way they're built, if they can't have a good time, they don't want anybody to have a good time. If they can't use that food, they don't want anybody to use it. You got some people who would have went and got as much food as, as they could, got that food and just took it home <laughs> and ate as much as they could and let the rest of it go to waste. They wouldn't have even taken the food and taken it to their family members or something or even taken it to a homeless shelter or did what she did, which was a grand thing to do call up those homeless shelters, call those homeless shelters and invite the homeless to a dinner party. That was cool. Now, after I researched the story, I realized that somebody else had did this. Actually, a, a very famous newscaster who was the groom-to-be had walked out on a wedding just hours before the wedding. And so after the wedding was canceled, they gave the uh, a food away to the homeless. So it's been done, but it don't take away from what this woman did. It still was a very kind gesture, a beautiful thing. I have to say that the support that she got from her family and friends was cool. It's always good, man, when you got support. I mean, that goes a long ways. Seeing her mother and her aunts and her friends show up for her and support her like that. And then she stood at the, at the door and she greeted all of the guests that came in, hugging them and, and, you know, just making them feel welcome. Yeah, good story. I had to share this with y'all. I know some of y'all out there, few of y'all, not most of y'all, y'all like to hear good stories too, but some of y'all, man, some of y'all, man, we got to have some personal conversations because <laughs> yeah, some of y'all be tripping. I like, man, I ain't trying to hear none of that, man, man. Man, what a bad stuff. But I had to share this story with y'all. It was a $30,000 wedding. You know, a lot of times, expensive weddings are boring. I don't even like to go to them half the time. It's way more drama at the little hood weddings. <laughs> Way more to talk about. I mean, you're going to see some crazy stuff at a hood wedding. <laughs> I've seen all kind of crazy things at hood weddings. From the music that the bride walk in on, to the, to the food, to the talent. I mean, it's just crazy. I hope people don't try to diminish what she did by talking about, ah, you know, you spent $30,000 and the wedding didn't even happen and all this stuff. Let me tell you something. It's better that that wedding did not happen. It's better that they realize, you know what, we're not fit for each other. We're not going to work out. For whatever reason they broke up, for whatever reason they called it off, it's better that they do it now than later after you get together, form a union, you start buying houses and acquiring uh, properties and assets together and 
you get kids and and then all of it fall apart and now you got you got to deal with divorce and ah, visitation rights and kids over here. You got to deal with a, another set of, you know, parent, blended families, all this stuff. It's better that they do it now than later if they were to split up. And to me, it shows a sign of maturity when somebody can do that. Because that's got to be very embarrassing to, to call off a wedding one week before the wedding. That has to be very embarrassing. It has to be very disappointing. And it has to be hurtful. So I can imagine what she was going through. And while she's going through all of this, She's still thinking about other people, how she can help somebody else. Man, I don't know the woman, but I just feel like that's a good woman. And she said she didn't know what she was going to do with the dress. I think, I think some dude is going to come along and see those qualities in her. And it's going to be the right dude. And... He going to give her a reason to use that dress. So I say, Sarah Cummins, hold tight. Hold tight. Just hold tight and keep being you. you know, keep being that big-hearted, generous person that you are. And it's going to happen. Don't get that dress away because you'll be looking for another one real soon. When life gives you lemons, make somebody else happy. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.